Hello fellow Vapers and welcome to the Del Vapor Vape Reviews. Time for another hardware review and today we are reviewing the Geek Vape Zeus Nano Tank. So the Zeus Nano Tank, 22 millimeters in diameter, two or 3.5 mil capacity, available in six different colors and comes with a 0.6 and a 0.4 ohm coil, which are cross compatible with the Geek Vape Aegis Boost, which I think is absolutely blooming great. Yeah, I've got mine in the beautiful rainbow color here today on top of the Aegis Boost Plus with um, the 510 adapter on there. 0.6 ohm coil in here currently um, at 24 watts. Let's take it for a two. And the flavor is pretty damn surprising. Yes, it is indeed. So what we're gonna do in the review today is take this down to the table, have an unboxing, show you what you get inside the kit. Obviously, this is the reviewer's edition packaging, so it won't be the final packaging, but you'll understand what I'm doing and all that jazz. Uh, we'll show you how to fill it up, go through the different coils, uh, set it all up for you then we'll bring it up top take it for a two and review both the calls and give my opinions on flavor and clouds and the overall pros and cons for the tank so without further ado i'll grab the box which is over here and i'll see you down at the table with the geek vape zeus nano tank so this is the pre-release packaging for the geek vape zeus nano tank let's take a look at what you get inside you get the zeus nano tank in your chosen color a spare tank glass, which capacity will vary depending on where you are in the world. A spares bag, which contains drip tips, O-rings, and a coil removal tool. A 0.6 ohm canthal 15 to 25 watt G-Boost mesh tech coil and a user manual and your warranty information. So this is the Zeus Nano Tank and it measures in at 22 millimeters in diameter by 56.55 millimeters tall. So let's start from the top and work our way down. 510 drip tip at the top, our rings are located on the drip tip side. Work our way down to the top fill. You've got a little bit of knurling around there just to aid gripping. Around about a quarter to half of a turn there, kind of like a bayonet fit. You've got your filling ports either side and a gasket on the top there to prevent any leakage. Top airflow on this bad boy, you've got adjustable airflow as well. You can go fully closed, fully open and anywhere in between. You've got two airflow holes at the top there. Tank glass, now I've got the two milliliter glass on here at the moment. You've got the Zeus logo in the background there and you can see your, um, your juice ports in there which go into the coil. Down at the base, obviously 22 millimeters in diameter. Now this is a reviewer's version, but you've got Zeus made in China, CE bin logo, uh, designed by Geek Vape, and a serial number down there, and a gold plated 510 positive pin. So let's have a look at the coil that you get inside there. Unscrew the bottom, quite blooming simple. So the coil that you have got in at the bottom there is the 0.4 ohm campville, 25 to 33 watts. Now these are the same coils which are uh, compatible with the Aegis Boost. So if you've got any of those coils, you can whack them in here. But removal of the coil is pretty simple. You can use the tool or you can just use your finger there. You can see an O-ring in the center, which does seal the coil from the rest of the tank. You can see where your airflow comes down there. Pretty damn blooming simple. So let's juice this coil up. It is simple to do, so I'll quickly go through this. There we go, a few drops of that will do. And then just plonk your coil back in. Just slide it in there like so. What I like to do is have the uh, the little wicking ports there in line with the window. Push it in and you'll be absolutely blooming fine. Screw the base back on and you are good to go. Now what I will do is just quickly swap this out for the other tank glass. So we unscrew that again. Push this and twist this around a bit will be a little bit tight as it's brand new. There you go, a little bit of a tug off of screen and that uh, changed that completely. So putting this bubble glass back on now, it is a little bit grippy. You've got to make sure that this O-ring here is in place. So if I just put that round there, make sure it's in between those two grooves there. There you go, easier said than done and then just slide that up. You may want to lube up the glass ever so slightly. 
But there we go, that is what it looks like with the bubble glass on. And I think that expands the capacity to around about 3.5 or 4 mil. Can't find the tech specs on this as of yet. But yeah, that looks pretty damn cool with that on. So what we're gonna do now is screw that on and fill it up with juice. Now the, uh, the filling ports on these are pretty damn small. So you've got to kind of edge the e-liquid in there, otherwise you will flood at the top of the deck, which I've just done. There we go, now that residual e-liquid in there will flow into the tank, you know, when you put this on, it'll be absolutely fine, so no need to worry about that. Yes, so what we'll do now is whack this on to the Aegis Boost here. So I have got the rainbow color one here. I think it's Aurora or something they've called that. And I think it matches it pretty damn well. And because I've got the 510 adapter on there, which is brand new, look at that. They've sent this through for review as well, but I'm just featuring it in this review. You can purchase this from Geek Vape. There we go. You can turn your Aegis Boost into a traditional device. And there we go. That is it on top of there. So let's take it back up to FaceTime and take it for a two. All right, so we are back up top with the Zeus Nano Tank. We've got that 0.6 ohm coil in there at 24 watts, which I found is optimum. Now the airflow is currently fully open. Let's take it for a two. Now for me personally, I believe that that airflow is too far open for my liking. So I'm gonna crank it down to around about half open, half closed, keeping the wedge the same at 24 watts. Much better flavor, a hell of a lot better flavor. Um, I think with the airflow fully open, there's too much airflow for the power that is going through the coils. But when you crank it down to half open, half closed, it's absolutely blooming perfect. Now, what do I think to flavor on this coil? Um, I would say the coil is above average, or the flavor is above average, sorry. And I would say that is around about a seven, 7.5 out of 10 on the old flavor scale. Really nice flavor. A little turbulent airflow, but it's not too bad. I've had a lot worse, a hell of a lot worse. Um, but this is absolutely fine. Clouds are good as well. Nice clouds and nice flavor production. So what we're going to do now is swap this out for the 0.4 ohm coil. So I'll be back with you in a sec. So right, we are back up top with the Zeus Nano with the 0.4 ohm coil in here, rated 25 to 33 watts. I've got it at 30 watts today, airflow fully open. Um, it is reading at 0.42 ohms, which is absolutely fine. Let's take it for a two, let's go. A bit more flavor, a bit more clouds, um, a little bit of a turbulent airflow going on in there. But the flavor is good. I'm really enjoying the flavor on this. I would say this is an eight to an 8.5 out of 10, really nice flavor. So let's crank that airflow down. We're gonna keep the wattage the same. Airflow half open, half closed. Let's go. Little more restriction, obviously. Little more flavor as well. Very nice with the airflow closed down halfway. Very nicely done. Yeah, I am liking that. So let's go through our pros and cons about the Zeus Nano Tank. Now my one con from this, um, I've been using this for around about a week now, my one con from this would be the refilling method. Now everything's all right, but I just think the holes at the top are a little too small and you do end up flooding the top of that top cap section with the old kidney holes in there. Um, you can like poke it down with a screwdriver or whatever, but it does get a little bit flooded, which is slightly annoying. Uh, but I haven't had any issues with that e-liquid spilling out. It does tend to find its way into those kidney shaped filling holes when you do put the top cap on but apart from that absolutely fine really absolutely blooming fine um i like the whole design of it it looks good with a bubble glass on there as well which i think is cool the 3.5 mil bubble glass um i've had no issues with coils burning out too quickly i've been testing this out for around about a week now um and you know the coils have been performing absolutely blooming blooming perfectly uh the airflow control has a nice amount of restriction on it which is good like the the the, the twisty turniness of it and you know overall i think it's a cracking little blooming tank so let's go into price now because we like talking about price over on the Geek Vape store, this is priced at $24.99, which isn't too bad for a little sub ohm tank. Really not too bad. So $24.99 kind of translates anywhere between 20 and 25 quid over here in the UK. That's what I'd expect to pay, but I can't find any reputable vendors over here in the UK selling it yet. But expect to pay anywhere between 20 and 25 quid, plus your postage, obviously. And what do I think to that price? That price is absolutely fine. 
absolutely fine indeed um, and you know if you have got a boost plus and stuff like that grab the 510 adapter you know that's only a couple of quid I think that's around about five six quid um, and then put that on top and that's what I think it's designed for it's designed for this mod and obviously smaller mods but you know it looks really great and really good on top of the Aegis boost plus so overall what do I think to the Zeus nano tank overall produces some great flavor some great clouds um, looks good on top of this overall a cracking little tank and it's got a good price to boot as well so i'd like to thank the lovely people at geek vape for sending this through for the purpose of review i've been the devil vapor and you've been watching devil vapors vape views